Welcome to this intro to Wix.com. Um, so here I'm going to show you how you can build your own website. So first of all, go to Wix and then let's click Get Started. Here it'll ask you to either sign in or to sign up and create an account. So if you haven't done this, um, just click Sign Up and then I would use your college email. And then once you've clicked that, you will get a list of templates to use. Now, I, there's so many, there's, there's hundreds of them, but I always find the design ones are the best ones. Then you'll have two options. You'll have the ADI Create Your Website, or you can use their online editor. So I'm going to click this. And then here you'll see there's hundreds of different templates you can choose from. So just scroll through them. Um, you can also um, click to view the website. So by clicking that, you'll see a little preview of the website comes up. You'll find that the portfolio ones are probably best for what we're using them for um, in art. So I've selected this one, so I'm going to click edit. And then from there, um, you'll it will open the Wix editor online. So you do this through your browser. So here's my template. Um, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to organize the pages of your website. So here you can see all the pages. Now, obviously, I don't want, I don't need all of these. So all you need to do is click on the three dots. Um, it will give you a range of options, and then you can simply just click delete. Um, I always find it best to design one page and then duplicate it. Um, another tip, um, it's best to name your pages as well um, to keep it as organised as possible because this is going to be something you'll be working on, on over the next few months. So rename the pages as the projects that you're working on. So this one is going to be a graphics one, so I'm going to click Architecture Illustrator. And then we're going to start off by designing the home page. Um, so first things first, let's look at the menu bar. So here, if you click on this, you'll see um, all the different options. We're going to click Design. And then again, there's loads of different templates you can choose from. Um, so you click on this and it will change the design for you. However, you can scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click on Customize. Here you can change the fonts, you can change the colours. Um, you, you, you have full reign of changing any aspect of the menu bar. And then you can design your um, logo that in this case, in the disk design, the logo is attached to the left hand side of the screen. Um, so you can upload, you can just add text if you want to, or you can upload a PNG or a JPEG as like almost like your own little logo. And what's quite good with this particular design is it links to the top of the screen. Can you see it anchors there? Now what we're going to do is I'm going to delete all these additional bits on my home page that I don't need. Again, as software, it is actually quite intuitive. So you can move things around. Um, delete bits, copy and paste bits. So what we're going to do now is upload your media. So these are going to be the JPEGs and the work that you're going to upload to your site. So if you click on upload media, um, you can add folders. Um, it's best to keep this area organized because you might have quite a lot of work going on. So I like to name the folders as the projects. Click on upload media and then go to your computer and then you can select those files that you're going to be using. Now, it will only recognize PNGs and JPEGs. Um, so please make sure that your files are set to JPEG or PNG. Anything like a PSD or an AI file or PDFs, it won't recognize. Now I'm going to show you how to add a gallery. It's really simple. So you go to the plus sign on the left hand side, you can see here galleries and then it gives you lots to choose from. Um, so I am going to look at this slider one, the showcase one, I kind of like this, drag it onto your website. Just give it a few seconds and there it is. And then you can scale it to the width of the screen. Then all we do manage media. Um, these are all just the standard example ones that Wix puts on. Just select them all and delete them. And then if you click add media at the top of the screen, you can then add an image, a video, etc. So we're adding images. There it 
then all you do is highlight the images that you want to add to the gallery. Um, so using your command or your control key, you can select more than one at a time. So I'm, I think I'm just going to select four here. and then just simply click Add to Page. Um, you can adjust the order as well. You can see just simply by dragging, you can change the order of that. Now, you might want to change the name of them. Um, so in this case, you might put Gallery 1 or Image 1. Um, and this really is for when you click on it to enlarge the image because it will show the actual file name. So when you're happy, there's your gallery. So now we're going to start moving these elements, changing the text. Um, it really is quite intuitive, um, really simple to get the hang of. You can adjust your kerning, the tracking. Um, then we're going to change this. It's quite a good feature. It's an icon. So it, it enables you to link an image to a page, a website, um, or a page on your website. So you just simply click the image. We're going to just change this one um, to one of the illustrations. And then here you'll see a link. So if you click on this link here, you can then, as you can see, link it to a web page. Or in this case, I'm going to link it to the architecture illustration page. So when the viewer clicks on that image, it will send them to that area on your website. Now we're just going to organize these pages. Um, so here you can see I've got the portfolio, then I've got all my projects. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sub page. So this page is linked directly to the portfolio page. So I'm going to do the same with this one and with the box project. Now you can adjust these, you can move them into the whichever order you wish. Um, and then what should happen when you go to your home page, if we go to preview, um, it allows you to preview your website live. So when you go to the portfolio page, they should be listed. Now if it is that this doesn't happen, it's because you need to make your pages visible. It automatically hides your pages. So click on the little icon and then make sure you click visible. It's a really common mistake people make. So if we uh, just move, um, we're just going to build the pages now. Now I like to list um, the designers and the design field as well as like the software that you've used. You might want to put a little intro as well as to what you've done in this part of the project. We're going to add a gallery. So here this is a page that I've designed. Now um, a tip here, it is good. Um, one of the best features that you'll find on Wix is that you can actually copy and paste elements of it. So all you do is highlight it, Command C, Command V, and it pastes that gallery and then you can move that down and all you would then have to do is replace the images um, when you come to manage the media. Um, it's a really nifty feature. Not all website builders um, enable you to do this. It saves you so much time. So click Manage Media and then just change those images round. You can also duplicate pages as well. So all you do is click duplicate the page and then the layout is then the same. All you then have to do is change the content. Um, so again, this is something that will save you so much time. So here I'm going to make the typography one. And then I'm just going to adjust the content. Now, once you've designed your site, we're going to publish it. Now, you can see here, here are my sites. So I've got a graphics and a photography one. So I'm just going to click. I'm going to go to site actions and then I'm going to click edit the site. So this is it automatically saves what you're doing. Um, I would always preview the site before you publish it. 
Once you're happy with your design, all you simply do is click publish. And then there's your website online and that is the URL link to your website.